What's up, Poker Cave? So I just went through some of my storage and I pulled out a bunch of these bins that I haven't looked in in probably years. I'm pretty sure there's a ton of really cool stuff in here. So I'm gonna go through all of this and show you guys exactly what's in here. We might even open up a bunch of Pokemon cards. I don't really know yet because I don't know what's in all these. But what I do know is while I was searching, I also found two packages that I just never opened up. And I can like show you guys here. This literally says that it's from December 2nd, 2020. That's crazy. That's like nine months ago, almost a year ago. And I'm pretty sure this package is also from back then. And I have no idea what's in here. Sometimes I buy stuff for videos or for my collection and I get really busy and I put it to the side and then it just gets buried. So I don't know what's in those. Uh, we're gonna find out though. And we're gonna open that up later in the video. A bunch of these bins um, I, that I pulled out. I have a lot more bins than what's here, but this is what we're gonna do for this video. And also I got a package in the mail from somebody here in the poker cave so i'm going to show you guys that as well and i mean i think we just got to get to it so first off i cracked into this and this is actually from crafty ninja who you guys probably see during the live streams quite often in the chat but uh they sent over something here there was a really cool letter here and they have their own comp apparel company so i haven't looked at this yet and i think there's some booster boxes under here as well but uh for you guys so i think they're going to be getting given away during this video as well but let's see here hashtag apparel company so let's check it out let's check it out this is some nice quality little baggie here and k security what is this hold up yo this is already sick i already got to wear this during a video cave security with the chart yo that's actually sick oh it's on the back of the shirt okay oh with the poke dude oh my god that's actually insane yo i have to wear this cave security let's go yo thank you crafty ninja oh my god yo that's clean too that's actually cleaner than what i have right now dude okay i don't want to wrinkle that up i'm gonna put that to the side and i'm pretty sure yeah there's like supposed to be booster boxes down there too so we'll see that in a second but then we have this um gotta catch them all hashtag gotta catch them all let's see yo the material on this is actually really sweet um is this like maybe like a light hoodie or something oh it is gotta catch bro you did not have to do that thank you so much yo oh something on the sleeve poke oh poker rev on the sleeve yo i love the material on this too ah oh, thank you so much but also in here are some booster boxes that we're gonna get given away so let's see let's do a giveaway for this video what do we have what do we have what do we have okay so here's the first one. Ooh. okay we got one here and then a couple more down here let's see are these two different or the same so let's check this one out this one. i don't know the exact names of all the japanese sets but they correlate with the english one so there's two here and then is this a different one too what do we do what do we do do we open these should we open these or should we give them away let's um let's let's give one away so let's give this one away Let's give this one away. So if you guys want to enter for a chance to win this booster box, and then these two will like open up during a live stream and we'll do like two giveaway winners for these. But for this first one here, if you guys want to just make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment down below. Um, and let me know, like, maybe let me know what your favorite set is right now, what you guys are collecting or anything like that. Whatever you want to throw down there in the comment section. And I'll announce the winner next week during the live stream. And then I'll also throw these ones in as well during the live stream. Thank you so much, uh, Crafty Ninja, for this stuff. This is actually absolutely amazing. And dude, I gotta wear that, that uh, Poke Cave security shirt for sure during a live stream. But let's jump into our first bin over here. So here's the first one that I got. Um, they're pretty big, right? Like this is pretty heavy. And I usually put in, I usually put pretty good stuff in these, honestly. And I just like set it and forget it. And I literally don't know what's in here. That's the cool part about it. I don't label anything. I put it away and I'm like, don't touch it. <laughs> don't open it. Don't look at it. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's see yo okay 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 dude that's actually crazy um oh i remember when i was collecting these uh these are like sakishi boards i think they're called and they're like different oh this one's already kind of open but they're different artworks for all these pokemon and they're pretty much like works of art and they're they're kind of like really big sized cards but they're not really cards um uh, maybe we'll open one of these and eh, let's, let's do it let's do it let's open one of these because this is already cracked open but check it out because we got lugia and ho -Oh on the front here. So you can get like the legendary dogs in here. This is why I don't this is why I don't touch stuff, guys. Because anytime I get to my hands on stuff, I start opening stuff. Open that in a second, but yo, for real. These gotta be like four or five hundred bucks a box. These are the white Kieran boxes, and there's a plasma storm in there, next destinies. 
Um, boundaries crossed, it looks like. Yeah, these are serious. These are serious. So four packs in here with the promo card and the figure. Um, and I definitely got a bunch of these. I remember I bought, I picked these up. I might've picked up like a case of these and just put them in here. But like, yo, I would love to open this. They're so expensive, but I think we should do one in a video, maybe in like a legit, legit video, not just me just hanging out with you guys in here. But um, all right, let's uh, let's open up one of these. Let's open the Lugia one up. So these are some of the artworks you can get. I was like addicted to opening these for a while. They're really fun to open and uh, you got to try to collect all the artworks. There's like rare versions and stuff, but ooh, okay, so here. And oh, I forgot there's gum. <laughs> it's actually gum. So check it out. This isn't like too old. These are only a couple years old, I think, when I grabbed them. So um, this is why I don't open stuff, though, because I literally would just open everything. I just put it away and forget about it. But check that out. Really nice artwork on here. Um, and I don't remember how many are in each set, but yeah, they're just pretty much like works of art. You could like frame this up if you wanted to. But anyway, this is the first bin. And let me know if you guys ever want to see one of these get opened up eventually, because we could probably do that. I mean... I have a good amount of them and I don't know. They're really, really cool. With the Plasma Storm in there being one of the best black and white boxes, definitely would be worth opening. So um, let's move to the second one. And then don't forget, like, I have these, which I don't know what they are. Like, it's been, they've been here for a year at least. And I think I might even have more packages buried. So definitely count on more of these types of videos. Let me know down below in the comment section if you like this type of video as well. And I'll just start going through more of my collection like every time we do this stuff, but let's crack into this second one. And again, like there's no label on these. I just put it away. Don't think about it. Don't look at it. Or you're gonna try to open them. <laughs> That's what happens. Ooh, okay. Oh, actually, yo, that was crazy. This all might be crazy. So first, let me start with this one. This is Pokemon metal tags. These are like ridiculously rare, okay? And these were made in Spain, I believe. So like, what is it exactly? I'll show you. There's 16 in a case, and this tape is like the original tape, I think, but it just like sort of got loose over time, but there should be all booster boxes. Oh, here they are. This is wild. So these are Pokemon metal tags, like dog tags. I don't know if you guys like had those back in the day, maybe when you were kids or something, but <laughs> basically there's two metal tags um, plus one larger small ball chain to put it on. So you can put it on, like you put it, you know, you can put it on the wrist, you can put it around the neck with like the Charizard stuff. Um, there's up to like Gen 3 Pokemon in here, I think as well, which is even crazier, like Rayquaza, Kyogre's on the side there and stuff, Groudon. And these aren't, like this is how they came. There's no like plastic on the actual boxes. So, but here's the packs. And like each one of these has a, a random tag on here. Ooh, we actually got Charmander. That's actually sick. Um, and then like, here's the pack. So there's basically like booster packs and they're all random. The set's really big, actually. I can't remember, but I think if you open one of these, it'll actually say the actual checklist for the set. So it's a really big set, I believe. Emacs is the company that made these. You guys probably really won't find these around anywhere. They're really rare. I remember somebody hit me up a couple years ago saying that they had these and asked if I wanted to grab them. I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. Uh, I, think, I think they found them at a card shop and then they just sold them to me. And I was like, yep. These are cool. I'm putting them away in my weird collection of stuff. I, I have more bins that are like, have the weirdest kind of like stuff. Like this is kind of weird. I already know what this is. You guys can see Burger King on here. So this is a case of the Burger King toys that they did back in the day. And I think it has every single one of them that you could collect all in a case. Um, I don't remember how many there are in the set, but it's a pretty big set. So I have this still sealed. I was thinking of opening it for a video that I didn't get to it. And then I put it away and I was like, yeah. Let's just keep it sealed. So I'll put that here and then what's in this? Um, okay, let's see, let's see. It's gonna be weird. Oh, it is weird. Cool. That's my favorite kind of stuff, the weird stuff. So this is, dude, I don't even, I can't even remember how I found this. I think some guy had these on eBay randomly one time and I just was like, dude, like, give me, a, I think they were selling it by a case. But like, what is this anyway? I can't even remember. Um, so it's like a bunch of stuff. So here's like a, these are different storage boxes. I don't want to mess it up because I like to keep it how it was. But yeah, so you can kind of see that like Pikachu. There's different, different types of boxes. And then there's also, I guess like these chains or whatever. What is this? 1995, 1996, 1998, made in China. Um, so I guess like an accessory keychain type thing. Yeah. So these are cool. And yeah, there's a bunch of storage things. So these are like totally random, but like, dude, Bulbasaur, Meowth, 
Miu on this one. And this is something I was like, yo, I gotta have it, right? Because why not? Why not? Okay, so that's the second bin. Um, and then let's check out this third. This is this bin's really big. So I don't know what could be in here. Like it's actually a lot bigger than these two lengthwise. So here's something that I know what it is. This is Hidden Fates. Um, I have a handful of these and I just never like, I don't know. These got ridiculously expensive, but like check it out. The promo cards on here, Rayquaza, Shiny GX. That's absolutely insane. Soul Galio and Lunala. And then you have like this crazy Rayquaza figure that always gets messed up like half the time. So you kind of see it's like totally broken in there, I think. And then like a ton of Hidden Fates packs. I think like 15. And these come like two in a case. So I have like, uh, not a lot of these, but like a handful of them. And I'm just like, they're too collectible. And that's the stuff with like these and like the collection boxes that over here. It's like, they just get so collectible and they don't make enough of them. So it's cool to kind of hang on to them, open them up later, put them in the collection, stuff like that. But let me put this to the side and then we're going to crack right into this case. So... Let's see what's in this final case. And then after that, we have these packages that, again, I, I don't know what's in them. But we're going to find out together. And it might be something that we could open up. So let's see what's in this big case. Let me pull it back a little bit. And then, yo! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I must have bought these years ago. Holy <laughs> Oh, I love these. I used to open some of these up on the channel back in the day. Dude, these are ridiculously rare right now. Um, so this is, oh, this is probably my favorite one in here. Although this could probably be way up there too. But let me show you. Um, man, this is Harkold Soul Silver. Um, the series collection. You get like all these Harkold Soul Silver packs. I don't know if it's every one. Is it every set? It might be every set. I'm not, I'm not sure. I could be. No, I think I'm wrong. Trump, Triumphant, Undaunted. Yeah, it might be almost all of them, though. But look at these promo cards. I think these are like $500, roughly, for one of these. Maybe $400 right now, $500. I'm not sure, but I remember I bought a handful of these. Oh, this this is... I remember I used to open these back in the day. I had to stop. I had to control myself from opening them up because they're just so sick. But, like, another really cool one here is going to be the Deoxys box. It looks like I have some of these, too. So this has a bunch of the black and white sets, the Deoxys Giant Jumbo card, like the figure. Yo, did Pokemon just make better stuff back in the day or am I just kind of like, ooh, okay, we got a handful of these. These are probably the same thing. Like they, they're probably like three, 400, 500 maybe. I don't know exactly. And then I'm, I'm going to assume this one's probably a little bit less, maybe in the, the 200, $300 range. But it does, oh, it does have a Call of Legends though. That's like one of the rarest sets out. Um, I opened up one of these on the channel as well. Samurai. Um, and then you have like a theme deck thing here too. And um, another pack there. I think there's, yeah, there's only two packs in this one, but still that's sick. And then, um, yo, I love this. I love this one. This is the Clash of Legends. So you have level X, like dude, level X cards as promos. And then this jumbo legend card. Unbelievable. That's amazing. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? I can't see. There's definitely Harkle Soul Silver over here. Um, maybe like a Plasma Blast or something over there. Yeah, that's crazy. And then, so I have a bunch of these. I gotta be careful with these. These are too nice. All right, that was that was kind of buried. So I had to cut that for a second so you guys could see this. But like, I have a case of these, I guess. So how many are in a case? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve in a case. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Um, okay, so yeah, the Clash of Legends. I have a bunch of those as well. That's sick. But now we are gonna jump into these boxes that I don't know what's in them that were from like a year ago almost so let's crack these open let's do it all right so let me get my knife and let's go in on this let's go in on this so here's the first one uh which one should I do first let's do this one first I don't know I would assume this is probably from the same sort of like time period or whatever like I just put it away and I like didn't get to it so I don't know let's see what's in it it's pretty light. The one on the bottom is pretty heavy. So, let's see. All right. Paper. And is this like a... What is this? Oh, this might be like a... This might be a mystery box. Oh, my God. This is... This, I don't know how much I paid for this. But right now, it's looking kind of weird. There's a Sil Valley GX card from 2017 in here. Jumbo. That's actually kind of sick. This must be like a... Yeah, this has to be a... Um, 
like a mystery box. It's got like a big dent or cut there or something. And then what are the packs? The packs age though, right? So it's like at the time, maybe this wasn't the best mystery box, but now like could be better or could still be bad. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. In a Ziploc bag, a little sketch. All right. So <laughs> we got Sil Valley. So we got another Sil Valley SM64 promo card. All right. I think it's just in the top loader without a sleeve. I don't know. Or no, there's a sleeve maybe. All right. doesn't matter. Yo, Crimson Invasion. Okay. Sun and Moon Base. Celestial Storm and Unified Minds Dollar Tree Packs. Okay. We got a litten. All right. Let's uh, let's crack these open. Let's do the... Dude, I haven't opened up a Dollar Tree Pack in like... I can't even tell you the last time I opened a Dollar Tree Pack. All right. Let's see. Pack number one. Ooh. We got a Reverse Deoxys. That's actually a sick card. Um, and then I don't think there's any... There's no code cards in these. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Um, Unified Minds up next. This is actually... I mean, it's pretty tough to find. You know, Unified Minds in a Dollar Tree pack. They can't really just walk in a Dollar Tree and find these. Let's see. Pikachu. Bidoof! Grass Energy. <laughs> Bidoof is definitely the best. All right. Crimson Invasion. Let's see what we got in Crimson Invasion. All right. Let's go. Catnia. Mankey. Shelmet Reverse. And an Octillery. All right, we got our code card out, and then we got one more pack, and we're going to see what's in that last box. Sun and Moon base set. Maybe this will be the goods. Let's find out. Got a Poliwag. We got a Skarmory. Come on. Spiro. Paris Reverse. Oh, Incineroar. That's a cool card, though. Non-Hollow. And then code card going out. Let's see what's in the last one. Let's see what's in the last box here. This is heavy. This is pretty heavy. Let's go. All right, ready? Um, does it say how heavy it is on here? Uh, it probably says it somewhere. All right, so packing peanuts. Wow, we got a box of packing peanuts, everybody. You guys know I don't like packing peanuts. It's gonna make a mess now. Ugh. All right. Oh. Ugh. They protect it, but it's just like, whoa, what is this? Hold on. Oh my God. This, no, this can't be. That's, there's no way that's sealed. 0% shot. 0% shot. That's a team rock. Oh, it's the box. Wait. What is this? I was going to say, it, there's 0% chance that I would forget about that I bought a sealed EX Rocket booster box. These are like probably like what? Like 20, 30, 40 grand? I don't know. Dude, it's still sick out of the box. I might have actually bought a collection off of somebody of... Oh, wait. I think I remember. Yo, I think... That this guy opened up this booster box of uh, Rocket Returns and like they just like they just had the cards like they opened them up a long time ago and they just never touched the cards or played with them. And I remember, I think if I can get this open, come on, can I get it open? Don't want to mess it up. Oh, there we go. OK, I think that's what happened. Wait, 1978. What is this? These aren't from 1978, but I can tell you right now the back of that looks really nice. So, got to be careful with these. That front one. Come on. There you go. Oh, my God. Yo. I think that's what it was. Are these, uh, are these the rares? Dude. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Talk about a, a jackpot. <gasps> no. You guys know I, I, I'm trying to get the, the all of these Dark Mucks from Yo I have like four of these graded in a PSA 10 in my collection. I think I own like most of the Dark Mucks in PSA 10 from uh, Rocket Returns. Oh my God, these are all the these are all the rares. Delibird, Furret, Ledeon, Magby, Mistrevis. Wait, dude, how are there so many? Quagsire, Quillfish. Dude, how many boxes did they open? These are all... Yeah, these are all near mint to mint, like 0% shot of being played. All right, I'm going to put these down very carefully. And then what's in this box? What is this? This looks like it. Oh, my. There's 0% shot that I bought football cards from 1972. But, like, there's got to be more rocket in here, right? Woo! All right. Oh, yeah, look at this. So these must be all the uncommons and commons. Oh, my. These are all mint. These are all mint. Yo, PSA. 
Oh, I don't want to mix these up. Where was that? Oh, it's going to get mixed up. Okay. Um, <laughs> PSA, yo, let me know when you guys open it back up for the bulk. I got, I got some bulk to send in. Holy. I can't believe I forgot about this. This has literally been sitting in, in, in storage for like, it's got to be what? Like almost a year. Like almost a year. Whoop or whoops for days. Whoop or whoops. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. That is going to do it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. But that was just some of my, oh, my, oh, my knees hurt from that. This is out some of my storage. Um, I have a bunch more tins like this of stuff. I literally just put it away, forget about it. And then I can pull it back out and show you guys. And then we can see what we got. But that is going to do it. Hope you guys have a great day. Oh, enter the giveaway as well for the Japanese booster box. That's going to do it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.